Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. We begin our coverage in Campbellsport this evening. A public visitation was held this afternoon and this evening at Campbellsport High School, the community paying its respects to Sabrina Stahl, Katie Berg, and Caitlin Scannell. All three were killed in the crash uh, early on Saturday. The visitation ended about two hours ago, and Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz is still in Campbellsport this evening, joins us live. Ben, what's it been like at the high school this evening? Well, Tom, the media was not allowed inside the visitation for the three girls, but it did take place right behind me in the school's gym, and it was supposed to get done at 7, but uh, there have been people coming past us that were still inside at the ceremony, and some of them tell me that the ceremony was full of emotion and honor. Not far from where the crash took place that shook up Campbell's sport, the community came together to pay respect for three young lives lost. It's a tough day. Ryan Scannell's sister, Caitlin, was one of the girls killed in Saturday's crash. It's emotional, but it's an opportunity to honor my sister's memory and help the community grieve. Scannell is one of many people in the community showing support for the girls on their shirt. These pink, purple, and coral ribbons represent the girls' favorite colors. It's just respect, I guess. And then some of the ribbons have, like on hers, they have three for each of the girls. And then we made fun ones and different colorful ones just to show respect and how much we care. Similar symbols of remembrance can be found around the community. Some of the about 2,000 people who live in Campbell Sports say it is a sign people are standing united during this tough time. We need to be here to show up and just show our support for everybody to send these girls off and with love. It's just very sad and hopefully it's a lesson for everyone that we need to be careful and wear seatbelts and just everything. It's just been a rough week. As for Scannell, he says the outpouring of support has helped his family deal with their loss. It means a lot to us to know that my sister was such an important part of the community and had done so much uh, good and positive work here and to see the community uh, coming and giving that support back to us it really means a lot. Now, tonight's visitation was for all three girls, but tomorrow there will be a separate funeral for each one. Reporting live in Campbellsport, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. There were six other teenage girls injured in that crash who survived when the driver of the SUV lost control and crashed into a field. They are still recovering tonight. 16-year-old Allie Adams is in fair condition at Children's Hospital in Wauwatosa. 16-year-old Teresa Flood is also in good condition. Three other teens who were in the SUV, uh, Cassandra Anderson, who was 17, and 18-year-old Haley Fricky and 18-year-old Carly Ottery, have been released from the hospital. And the condition of one other victim, 16-year-old Jessica Harbin, has not been released based on the request of her family. 